Hello everyone, we're back on the road and we're headed to the Black Sea town of Amasra. It's a little less than a four hour drive from Ankara and we're excited to explore the city, try some of their seafood and explore some of their beaches too. So see you there. So we're here at the Gergeje waterfall and we just parked out here. We're gonna walk a bit to get to the waterfall and then we'll show you what it's like there. One of the perks of having a car while you travel is that you can stop whenever you want. You don't have to wait in a bus or a train or anything and you can explore some of these places which I guess you would not normally stop at. So let's see how far the waterfall actually is from this place. We decided to just walk it because the roads are not the best. This is interesting because we have no idea where we're going now. We're just gonna walk a bit and hopefully we do find the waterfall. Otherwise it'll just be a really nice hike. So we're still here just walking and then we ran into some friends that wanted to keep us company behind us. Pretty cool. <laughs> Right now we just um, saw the owner of all the, the herd of sheep that we just saw here and he told us that the waterfall is this way so we're going to continue this way where the sheep came from and he says other tourists are there so we'll run into some people right now. Yeah so uh, it should be a short walk and good thing we ran into the goats or they ran into us. So we actually spent some time in Colombia one summer and this actually reminds us a lot of that place. I just want to show you all because some people when they think of Turkey they don't think of this and this is absolutely a stunning place so definitely if you come visit make sure you explore different places not just Istanbul or commonly known places and th these are the type of things that we like to experience just natural beauty nature getting out to exercise a little bit and just enjoying and exploring Finally, after being lost for a little because we had no idea where we were going. Check it out, this looks like a really nice place. Just calm, not too many people, so actually just a couple people, so. So we got here to the waterfall, as you can see right here behind me. Uh, the water is not as clear, you know, some of the pictures, of course, they're always amplified for social media or change so i wouldn't recommend you swim here maybe when it rains more and it's a little clearer but it's good to come see the waterfall just so you can enjoy it a bit maybe relax your little area i'm glad we found it because for a moment we thought we were lost but then we saw more tourists so we followed them in the direction they're coming from um other than that it's nice here but we're gonna head back because we still have to drive to amasra and it's maybe like a 30 minute drive, but we want to check into our hotel and have something to eat. I also wanted to mention that if you know where you are headed, it's not that far actually. It's maybe like a five, 10 minute walk from where we parked our car. So it's pretty accessible and we could have actually taken our car a little further down the road and walked less. Um, so if you're in the area and you have a car, definitely stop by because this is a good place to explore. Oh, and the last thing I'll say is that, of course, this type of experience is the best one because it's free. You just come out in nature, you get a good workout. That's our type of travel.
We're staying here for two nights and it's 600 lira per night. This is our restroom. It's really tight in here, but it has everything we need. Shower. The shower is kind of short for you probably. <laughs> We got a queen size bed here. This is our closet. Got some nice mirrors here. We have a mini fridge, tea kettle, air conditioning, TV, and um, we even got a sea view with our own balcony. And one of the good things too is that this hotel has breakfast included, so we'll be able to eat here tomorrow in the morning. And we don't have to worry about that. So that gives the view from our room. took way too long to find some parking. Supposedly it was gonna be free parking, but when we got here, we realized there was no parking at all. Um, so we ended up finding somewhere where you can pay for parking, but it's a little further we had to walk here. So now we're pretty hungry and we're gonna go find some dinner. We're here enjoying this beautiful scenery. So calm, so relaxing with these uh, little kids. <laughs> yeah, these little speed racers making it a uh, a different vibe. So. Okay, I think we found this spot. It's a uh, Gina Bullock. We're gonna try it out here. I decided to be here because I saw online some of the reviews and we saw that you can see the ocean from the dining tables. Picked a good spot here. As Andrea was saying, this is right next to the, the sea, so it's a pretty good view. This is literally our table and you can see the water. Oh, they're really hot. It's uh, too hot. Okay, we have take two of Andrea trying the calamari. He's burning my fingers. They're a little chewy, but they're good. And I like this little dipping sauce. Reminds me of tartar, tartar sauce. So I have here the pachanga puri, which uh, the name is funny to us obviously because in Spanish pachanga means like a party. But inside it's essentially cheese and some pastrami and it has some peppers. It's good. I'm normally not a fan of peppers, but it's not really spicy. It tastes good. I think Andrea will really like this one because she likes the peppers. I think it's pretty good. We ordered lebrec, which is a sea bass. We're gonna split this because you can see it's pretty big. And I've actually cooked this before here in Turkey in a cooking class I took. I learned how to make this and I had to do it for my midterm as well. So I have a lot of experience cooking this and eating it. I really like it because it's grilled and they also added some sauce. I'm going to put some lemon on it. Alright, some more fish with lemon. It's really good. I like that it's grilled. I like the sauce, lemon has some flavor. I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> We're gonna try it and make sure we don't need any bones and we'll see if we can finish it. We probably will, we're pretty hungry. Uh, and let me see how it tastes and get a little piece. Mm. It's good. The lemon really helps and then it's grilled pretty nice. And it has this other like sauce to it or something. Yeah, like a tomato sauce that gives it a little extra flavor. So it's pretty good. It was good and we finished it. Now we're gonna go find some dessert. We're now walking around just to see a bit. It was good, a little pricier than some of the other restaurants, but I think it was good. And we're gonna try to find some dessert or some other type of food that we can have right now. What do you wanna try? Uh, maybe ice cream. I see a lot of ice cream shops around. I'll try some of that.
for my next trip. First hand experience as an entrepreneur. What? How many that someone's job to move someone else? Well, if he gets paid, why not, right? We're still on the hunt for our dessert. I think we're just gonna go with some ice cream and then tomorrow we'll really get a better picture of what we'll get and plan things out more. What do you think? Yeah, yeah I think we'll just go with ice cream. So. Limon. Yeah. We're back in the room. We got some ice cream. We walked around, saw some of the shops at night, and we just sort of wanted to get ourselves situated with the area. It's not that big, but tomorrow we'll explore a lot more. And I think we're gonna call it a night. It's pretty early, but tomorrow we want to wake up early and take advantage of everything. So we'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.